On July 31, 1932, Theodore Crawford Cassidy was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and he spent his early years in Philippi, West Virginia. His parents were of Irish descent. As a child, he was academically gifted and attended third grade at the age of six. He reached high school at the age of 11 and became basketball and football player. He was already six feet one inch tall in high school hence was often bullied by his seniors. He attended the West Virginia Wesleyan College in Gannon after he completed high school. He became a member of the Alpha Sigma Phi fraternity. Thereafter, he attended the Stetson University in DeLand, Florida, and became an active participant of the student government. From 1952 to 1955, Cassidy played basketball for the Stetson Hatters. He worked as a lifeguard in the Ormond Beach area in 1952. He graduated from university with a degree in speech and drama in 1956. Soon, he got married and then shifted to Dallas, Texas. His acting career launched when he started working as a midday disc jockey with WFAAM. He covered the assassination of President John F. Kennedy and was among the first to interview eyewitnesses We Newman Jr. and Gail Newman while working at the radio station. In Creech and Ed Hogan's afternoon movies on WFAA TV, he occasionally portrayed the outer space creature. He played the organ at Luby's Cafe, located at the Lockwood Shopping Center, in Dallas as he was also a musician. He was the voice of the Martian in the film The Angry Red Planet, which was his first assignment in films as a voice actor in 1960. Cassidy's height gave him advantage in playing the unusual character's roles in science fiction or fantasy series such as I Dream of Genie and Star Trek. The series Star Trek The original series featured him in various roles, as Ruck in the episode What Are Little Girls Made Of, as Baylock in the episode The Corbamite Maneuver, and as Gorn in the episode Arena. His best-known role was of the butler Lurch in the TV show The Addams Family in which he feigned playing the harpsichord, although he was in fact an accomplished organist. His character was supposed to be mute, but during the auditions he spontaneously added the words, you rang, in his deep voice. Those became the words that were included in his dialogues and became his signature line. The show became a cult series and there were many reruns and films that were based on the show. It ran for two years, from 1964 to 1966. Cassidy also played the role of Thing in the same show. He was disembodied hand that helped around the Adams household, whenever he was not playing Lurch. When Lurch and Thing were both required on screen, an associate producer doubled up as Thing. Cassidy was an accomplished musician, but while portraying Lurch, he merely pretended to play the harpsichord. He reprised this role several times, such as in an episode of Batman, and as a voice artist for the animated series of The Addams Family in the 1970s. He released two songs, The Lurch and Wesley, on a 7-inch vinyl record, with Capitol Records in 1965. He also performed the song The Lurch on the show Chivalry and performed it again on Halloween on the show Shindig in September 1965. With Hanna-Barbera Studios, he did extensive work as a voice actor and lending his voice to many cartoon characters. In the series Frankenstein Jr. and The Impossibles he was Frankenstein Jr. Cassidy worked in various TV shows. He portrayed the role of Injun Joe on the NBC show The New Adventures of Huckleberry Finn in 1968. He guest starred on shows such as The Man from UNCLE. 1967, Lost in Space, 1965, The Beverly Hillbillies, 1967, Tarzan, Mannix, 1968, Bonanza, The Bionic Woman, and Daniel Boone, 1964. He essayed the role of Bigfoot in The Six Million Dollar Man, 1974. He lent his voice to the opening narrations and the growls of the Hulk in the TV series The Incredible Hulk, 1978. He portrayed Isaiah in the pilot episodes of Genesis 2 and Planet Earth. He played Goliath in the 1978 miniseries Greatest Heroes of the Bible. He lent his voice to Birdman and the Galaxy Trio and the short film Blaze Glory. His voice featured in the roars and growls of Godzilla in the 1979 Hanna-Barbera cartoon series. He lent his voice to Metalus, Moulter, and Tarko the Terrible in the series Space Ghost, from 1966 to 1968. 
He was the voice of Brainiac and the Black Manta on the show Super Friends. He also lent his voice to the thing in the new Fantastic Four. Cassidy portrayed a number of character roles too. He is remembered for his role of Harvey Logan in the movie Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, 1969. His other noteworthy character roles were for films such as McKenna's Gold, 1969, The Limit, 1972, Charcoal Black, 1972, Thunder County, 1974, Poor Pretty Eddie, 1975, Harry and Walter Go to New York, 1976, The Last Remake of Bo Sest, 1977 and Go and Coconuts, 1978, among others. He was the co-writer of the screenplay of The Har Rat Experiment, 1973. He also made a brief appearance in the film. His wife was Margaret Helen Jesse whom he married on June 14, 1956, soon after graduating from university. They however divorced in 1975. His children were Sean who was born in 1957 and Cameron who was born in 1960. He died on January 16, 1979, at the age of 46 in Street. Vincent Medical Center, Los Angeles. This was due to complications from a heart surgery that was conducted to remove a non-malignant tumor. He was cremated after his death and his ashes were scattered in the backyard of his home.